Hey guys, it's Bree. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Love Your Body Cut for you guys. I've tried to film this a couple of times already today and I'm just, I keep messing it up or I keep saying something that just doesn't make sense to me. So I'm just going to go with this one and say whatever kind of comes out of my brain or my original, like my actual thoughts on this cup because I feel like that's the most honest thing I can do. So this is the menstrual cup and this is the patch it comes with. The small size is their new size and they have had a medium and a large cup come out for quite a while now and those are two of the higher capacity menstrual cups available on the market so I was kind of interested to see what they would do with the smaller size because they were quite long cups and this one is also quite a long small cup but actually even though I have a relatively low cervix I can get um, into my second knuckle I could still wear this cup once I cut off the stem which was just like a little leaf so I contacted the company and asked them if they'd like to send me a menstrual cup to review. This is when they only had the medium and the large one because a lot of people were asking about those cups and I thought, well, you know what, maybe I could just have one to compare to you guys in videos, even if I couldn't actually use it. And then they sent me a message back saying that they had a small cup coming out. And this must have been around August, September time they contacted me about this. So they said, will you hang on until then? And I was like, yeah, sure, you know, I'm happy to do whatever, whichever cup you want me to try out. But then they did something kind of weird, which I think might have been a lapse in translation because they're not a British company and I don't think English is their first language. But they sent me an email saying I needed to enter into a giveaway. But from what they said, I was obviously going to win it. And I was thinking, that sounds like a rigged giveaway. But when I went and had a look, it wasn't really a giveaway. What it was, was they were saying they would give cups out to reviewers if you met certain criteria. That's why I think it was a lapse in translation because it was more like a form you had to fill in to see if you fit it in with their, you know, what's the word, clientele, if that makes any sense. You know, if you fitted with what they wanted to see in a reviewer, so you had to have like 500 subscribers on your YouTube channel, had to have at least two videos reach 2,000 views, I think, something like that, which, I mean, I obviously fitted that criteria I'd, over both of those. But it was kind of weird because they obviously, I, they knew I'd fitted that criteria and they still sent me off to this giveaway thing. But then I went back and said, because um, it was a giveaway, and I was thinking, well, you know, this looks a bit suspicious. And I said to them, you know, I don't enter giveaways because I don't, because I'd like to give you guys who don't have cups and cloth pads a chance to try and enter into those giveaways and see if you can win something. So I said, sorry, I just, I can't enter it then. And then they came straight back to me and said, oh, it's okay, we'll send it to you anyway, which was very confusing. But long story short, this cup turned up in the mail, and actually, it's pretty adorable. It's got this really cute pattern on it, but it's worth mentioning that these really cute flowers actually stand out. So they, they're not in the silicone, they stick out, you can see there. And I love this kind of vine part here, it's just so cute. They've got little flowers around it, and there's other colours available as well. I know they do a clear one with red flowers, and they also do a solid colour, which I'm tempted to say is black, but that might be wrong, I'm really sorry. I just focused on this cup. And I don't think I showed the pouch, it comes with this pouch which is a really large pouch so this easily fits in here and you could probably fit in a couple of other things if you needed to in the pouch itself which is good. It did have some glass beads but I pulled them off because they were making this kind of heavy and it made a noise when it moved around. But it's well made, it's not had any issues with it, just a cute pouch and it's not pink which is always a bonus. The cup itself, it's not particularly firm. I would class it as one of the softer menstrual cups. It's not very very soft but it's definitely not very very firm either and it's probably softer than a medium firmness. I didn't have any issue getting it open though. I used the punch down fold with this and this is where these really pretty grooves come in and cause an issue because this was quite irritating to insert because it rubs. They stick out and they rub at you. It's not a smooth surface which is not good for insertion. Um, I did smother it with lubricant and that helped but it did irritate me quite a bit and irritate in the sense of not as annoying in the fact that it kind of hurt me a bit which is not good with a menstrual cup but once it was inside me I didn't feel it at all because I've never had irritation from grit rings but if you do get irritation from grit rings this is not the menstrual cup for you you will get irritated by these um, they're not particularly like standout-ish but it's over the whole cup and I just think if you're that kind of person who's very very sensitive it's not going to work for you but if you're like me and you don't get irritated by grit rings then you should be okay it is really cute and it has some measuring lines inside which says 7mm, 14mm and 21mm but 21mm is a little bit below the um, the hole so I'd say this cup can probably hold around 23 milliliters of fluid. 
I have a low cervix and I didn't have any trouble with this cup. I thought I might have a bit of an issue because their cups tend to be longer, but I did manage to get this menstrual cup in no problem and it didn't leak at all. I wore it on the fourth and the fifth day of my period, which aren't heavy days, so I don't usually get leaking, but I sometimes get a little bit of spotting with the menstrual cup, but I didn't get anything at all with this cup, which is a very good plus for it. The only downside I think I found with it is those the grips on the side of it. I mean, they it, it's such a cute cup and it's adorable, but they can be quite annoying, so just bear that in mind if you're thinking about getting the cup. The silicone feels kind of plasticky, so it's not one of the nicest silicones I've ever felt, but it's fine, it's not, you know, damaged or anything, which is good. The Love Your Body is written on the inside of the cup. I don't know if you can see it in there. Probably not. No, I doubt you can. But it is kind of engraved, or stands, it's not engraved, it's sticking out a bit from the side of the rim of the cup. It also has an S to tell you it's small on the inside, and that's it as far as it is, apart from the measuring lines in there, which I'm pretty sure my camera won't pick up on. But that's basically my review of the cup. I just, I don't love it, but I don't dislike it either. It's kind of one of the in-between menstrual cups I have that I will probably use again because I really want to try this out with dancing to see if it leaks at all, if it can hold up to that, because if it can, then that's the ultimate test. So I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. Like I said, I always give my honest opinion of these menstrual cup reviews. And this is one of those cups that, you know, I don't love, but I don't hate either if it's in the like zone. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Bye.